So James Charles just opened up on Twitter about how he wakes up every single morning with anxiety and he was asking for some tips and Rob Beauty Christie gave him some advice and this is something that so many of us can relate to. So let's discuss. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from what's going on in the YouTube community and try to see what we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I have exciting, amazing news for all of you who have been following me for a while as well as all of you new people too. So the, the canceled audiobook is out now. It's linked down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. It's only 10 bucks, all right? But check it out. From now until Sunday, August 4th, if you get any of my other books, so if you came here and you struggle with anxiety as well, I have a book called Rewire Your Anxiety. You can check that out. If you get any of those other books, they're only like five bucks, you'll get the canceled audiobook faux free between now and Sunday, all right? I know, I know, I'm a pretty nice guy. Anyways, go check out the description down below. But yeah, um, those of you who came here and you're James Charles fans, um, I talk quite a bit about his experience in my new book, uh, Canceled. It's diving into cancel culture on YouTube and what we need to do about it. I share my experience, I share many other stories in there, and James Charles went through it this year. And this is, this couldn't, possibly be one of the contributing factors to his anxiety. So before I jump into this and see what kind of lessons we can learn and all that kind of stuff, uh, full disclaimer, I am not a licensed therapist or a psychologist, but who am I? My name is Chris, I am a certified life coach. I also have seven years clean and sober. I have overcame my own anxiety. I still struggle with it every now and then, but because of all the things that I've learned, it is a billion times better, all right? I also worked at a drug and alcohol rehab center for three years working with people who struggle with addiction, as well as different mental illnesses like anxiety, depression, and other types of disorders, all right? So anyways, yeah, let's talk about what James Charles tweeted yesterday. And it actually popped up because um, a lot of people were talking about this. But anyways, here's what I said. James Charles tweeted out, I keep waking up with anxiety. Does anyone have tips on how to deal with it right away in the morning? So Raw Beauty Christie replied and said, meditate, guided meditation is amazing. Best in nature if possible. But if not, try to just be a completely quiet, peaceful place. Also, exercise, cardio works best for me. Throw, throw in your headphones and an audio book or good happy music and just jog, with, jog the anxiety away. It makes a huge difference for me if I do it for 45 minutes to an hour each morning upon waking. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you can relate to waking up with anxiety first thing in the morning. So I guess I'll first share a little bit of my experience with that. Oh, this used to happen to me a lot, especially in my active addiction. And any of you who are in recovery, you know what I'm talking about. Like waking up in the morning, you know, after, especially after like a blackout, not knowing who you talked to the night before, what messages you sent, what phone calls you made, who you might have argued with. Like I'd wake up every single morning with so much anxiety. So one of the first things, and I talk about this in my book, Rewire Your Anxiety, is quit causing your own anxiety, okay? So this is something I actually mentioned in a video I did yesterday, the one about Trisha Paytas and Nick Accato Avocado, like my goal every single day at the end of the day is to go to sleep with a clear conscience, all right? So each day I try to just live to the best of my ability. If I screw up, I try to apologize as soon as possible because if I can go to sleep with a clear conscience when I wake up, I don't have as much anxiety. Now, it can still come for a lot of us who are going through difficult times. So like James Charles, for example, Man, I'm gonna be talking about therapy in a second, but he went through a very difficult experience this year, having millions and millions and millions and millions of people coming after you, right? And this is something that I talk about in the new book, Cancelled, too. Like, it's, it's something that is traumatic. Like, that sounds extra, but until you go through it, and I, and I didn't even have it as bad as James Charles. Like I had hundreds of thousands of people, you know, who were talking about me and James Charles gets millions of people. So I would assume, my guess would be that 
he still has some anxiety from that, you know? And he's talked about, you know, when he made his comeback video, how this really screwed up his mental health and how he took a break. And he, even after he came back with his return video, he still took some time off afterwards. Now. Let me tell you this. I was thinking about making a video about Raw Beauty Christie. I don't know if any of you watched it. Let me know down in the comments if you if you did. Like, what was it, a week ago? She made a video because she took a little bit of a break and she came back and she opened up about her anxiety and oh my God. It was just one of the most phenomenal videos. If any of you struggle with anxiety, I highly suggest you check out that video from Raw Beauty Christie. And here's the thing. Here's one of the reasons why I love her replying to James Charles because that's what my channel does. That's what I think is one of the most beneficial things ever because so many of us, you, me, others, like we might struggle with not being able to open up to a therapist, a psychologist, a doctor, somebody like that and talk about our mental health issues, but we're more, more willing to open up to somebody who's been through it, you know what I mean? So when you see somebody like Rob Beauty Christie who has just recently opened up about her anxiety and she's putting in the work, like that's the thing I love about Rob Beauty Christie's video, is she is putting in so much work. Like you saw it in her response to James Charles, she talks about meditation, she talks about how she's working out and things like that. These are things that are helping her. So in her video she also talks about how she's actively looking for a therapist and she's going to experiment with medication. So like that's the biggest thing I can tell anybody who struggles with anxiety, depression, any sort of mental health issue, okay? It is that, like, you just have to start trying things, all right? There's a billion suggestions out there. Talk to people who have been through it, who have overcome it, who are currently struggling with it, whatever it is. Ask them what they do, like, what works, okay? Like, that's the only reason I'm sitting here today even somewhat sane is because I've talked to so many people and learned from their exper uh, experiences, right? I, I've tried everything and I today I do just about everything like I take anti-anxiety medications I meditate you know I journal I you know when I get a chance I exercise and work out that's something that really helps out with my depression like I, I talked about this not too long ago but you know I have this um, depression workbook that's all about like the brain science behind it and exercise and going outside is one of the best things that you can do for depression. Like one of the best things because it starts to generate like all of your positive neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, uh, uh, norepinephrine, um, all sorts of things. So just getting out, being active, even if it's only like taking a walk around the block, all right? So when it comes to James Charles, and this is just, you know, something that he hasn't talked about, maybe he is, maybe he isn't, but again, my videos are made for you, okay? So I'd be curious if he's seeking professional help. So one of the reasons I started this channel is because a lot of people don't have the resources to get professional help. For those of you in the United States, you know our healthcare system sucks, so it might be difficult for you to see a therapist or see a psychologist or even see a doctor to get medications. So what I'm getting at is if you are somebody, you don't have to be James Charles level rich, you don't gotta be a baller, but if you have a job, if you have insurance and stuff like that, like please seek professional help. And I really hope someone like James Charles is, all right? Like one of the first steps can be just simply talking to your doctor. Like just talk to your doctor, go in there. Like my first antidepressant slash anti-anxiety medication, Lexapro, that I was prescribed was just from my primary care doctor. When I got diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder, I went in there because here's the thing, as much work as I put in, like holistic stuff, like non-medication stuff, like I still have biological issues, okay? And this is something I talk about in Rewire Your Anxiety. I have a whole chapter about the brain and you know those biological issues, the genetic issues and stuff like that. Like that that can make us more prone to anxiety so medications can help to chill out your amygdala now something that you know since i'm a recovering addict i don't recommend things like xanax and things like that or valium like i have i take non-narcotics so i was on lexapro now i'm on prozac right the other thing is too if you have resources if you have the money if you have insurance go to therapy go to therapy for the love of god so like for example with james charles i am sure 
I think we can all safely say that he has so much anxiety that came from his experience of, you know, the hate mob coming after him, as well as just being a public figure. There's so much anxiety around like every single tweet you're gonna make, every video you're gonna make, all these eyeballs on you and everything like that. So I really hope that he's talking with a therapist, but you, you, the one I'm talking to watching this video, because I don't think James Charles is, if you have the resources to get therapy, please, for the love of God, do it. When you work with a therapist, you're able to get down to the root causes of your problem. Like one of the reasons we have so much anxiety is because our brain hasn't been able to process different things in our life. Some of this can be st stemming from our childhood or previous relationships and things like that. When you talk with a therapist, they're gonna help open you up. So while, like I talked about with Raw Beauty Christie, it's great to have like that kind of peer support because like, I, I know how irritated we can get, like if like a doctor or just some random person's like, go meditate, you know what I mean? But if it's like my friend or someone who's been through it, it's a little bit easier to take their advice. But a therapist, they are specifically trained to help you process different things and your brain starts to heal. It starts to calm down your anxiety. But again, when it comes to waking up with anxiety, the best thing we can do is develop positive, healthy habits, okay? These coping skills. Like Raw Beauty Christie was talking about, when you when you have a whole, I kind of think about it like a toolbox or a tool belt, when you have just uh, an assortment of tools to turn to, to help with your anxiety, then it becomes automatic and you just start trying different things. Like when I'm managing my anxiety, it's like, okay, I'm gonna try to meditate. All right, that helped a little bit, but it didn't help all the way. Okay, now I'm gonna go journal. Okay, that helped a little bit, but it didn't help all the way. Now I'm gonna go for a walk or a jog or whatever it is, or maybe I'm just gonna zone out and you know play video games with my son or watch you know some TV with my girlfriend or whatever it is. But when you create this kind of like, whole assortment of different anxiety tools that you can turn to, you can start going through those when you're experimenting with it. And you can see which ones work out best for you. All right, but anyways, let me know down in the comments below if this is something that you struggle with. Let's let's have a conversation, kind of like that peer support that I'm talking about. Let me know down in the comments, what helps you with your anxiety. Let me know if it's medications. Let me know if it's meditation. Let me know if it's talking to other people. Let me know, are you in therapy? And all that stuff, all right? But yeah, make sure you check out the description down below. If you want, check out my book, Rewire Your Anxiety. I have the ebook and the audiobook format, but I made that book with just a ton of different tools so you can see which ones work for you, okay? It's a bunch of stuff that's worked for me. It's only five bucks, so. See if any of them work for you. All right, and don't forget, until Sunday, if you get Rewire Your Anxiety or Rewire Your Anger or my book, Hope, How I Overcame Depression, Anxiety, and Addiction or Caught in the Crossfire, if you get any of those books, you get the canceled audiobook full free. And that's out now down in the description below. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And I wanna send a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And another thank you to everybody who has bought Canceled or any of the other books and you're waiting for the audio book. All of you who help support what I do here to try to spread a message of hope and see what we can learn from things going on in the YouTube community. I appreciate all of you so, so, so much. All right. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.